Hello guys, good morning. So today Hugo and I are off to the vineyard and we're going to show you the day in the life of a vineyard worker here in Bordeaux, France. Um, so we woke up this morning around 6.40, walked to the car, which is about a 10 minute walk away because we live in like Bordeaux, Bordeaux. Um, and now we have to drive out 40 minutes to Chateau Biac to arrive before our 8 a.m. office meeting and then we will probably head to the fields to do whatever the task is for the day. So we'll see you at the office meeting. So in the morning, we're kind of too lazy to uh, prepare breakfast. We used to, so now we just kind of eat Velveeta's. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Mine is the chocolate one. He goes to his, like... The original. Yeah, so mine's better. Oh, it's open. Hello! <laughs> Good morning, Chai! Hello. Ça va? We're a little bit early today, but the rest of the team will show up and then we get our assignments for the day and then it's up the hill to the vineyard. So the first task we have today is using these tools to emprompage, which is basically just taking off all the little roots at the bottom of the plant. I think it translates to pruning. So basically we do this for every single one of these plants. All these down here, no good. Being hurt, what a concept. Gotta stay alive, yeah, that's the mindset. Caffeine mornings, vodka nights. Gotta be awake, gotta live this life. Hoping there's more, but knowing there's less. We gotta keep going and hope for the best. What? Did you already stack up on the things? Yeah. Alright. A lot of them? Okay, so it's just about 10.20. We finished all of the empromprage we had to do, and now we have to lavage, which means we take all these little guys, and we basically just put them on some wires. We put them on like two wires that like sandwich the plants together, and it kind of just tightens them all so that the tractor, when it goes in between, can go through without like just tearing all the vines off. Yeah, that's lavage. That's my summary. All right, getting these, and I'll show you like with the camera. Sometimes life just moves too slow. You gotta find a reason to push it and go. You know we're trying our best to be a success. We're living our life trying to clean up the mess. Cause I'm stuck in this row. These um vines are now taller than I am by a lot. They just started so small, and in the time I've been here of like two months, taller than me. So basically we put this little clip on either side of the plant and then it's kind of just sandwiched together and keeps it both within the wire and like the plant together so it grows upwards. How's it going? It's going okay. It's kind of hard. The plants are really grown. I think at the time, like the lovage, which is like the raising the cables, really well. Because if you don't, they're either too short and you can't raise the cables, or they're pointless. too tall and you have to like take forever to organize them. So. <laughs> but we're out here. We're doing it. Yeah. It's almost lunchtime. That's the best time of the day. And it stopped raining, so. Yeah, for now. But it's supposed to what? Thunder and lightning at two? Well. Lavash for one more hour. Then we're off to Intermarché. Yeah. 
All right, so we stopped at Intermarche, spent 10 euros. I got, no, this is Hugo's. Hugo got carbonara in a box, which we put in the microwave. I got also pasta in a box, but mine is beef flavored. Mm. And then we got some tabule. It's like 80 cents and it's really good. And then two apricots. We just felt them all to find the squishiest ones and these are them. And then next to the pasta boxes was like this weird blue juice. And I don't know all the ingredients, but it looks like a cool fruit juice. It has like coconut water and apple, but it was blue. So we bought it. Um, and yeah, and now we drive back to the chateau and eat there. So every day I take a photo of that same plant and I hope to do like a cool like time lapse of the growth. So, so after lunch we came back. That's thunder. It's thundering. But after lunch we came back to um, lavaging these vines and we've been doing it for what two hours now. We're in our last hour. We started all the way over there and now we're around here. So I've put my little clasps in a sock because I didn't want to wear my jacket because it got way too hot to do that. But one hour to go, or until thunder comes closer, then we're free and the day of working at the vineyard is done. Until tomorrow. guys well that pretty much sums up what we do in a day working at a vineyard here for our internship for IAE Bordeaux um, day to day changes sometimes we're in the cellar doing stuff like with the wine sometimes we're just in the field working with well the soon to be grapes and then wine um, but that's just what we did today so that's what I took you guys along with hope you enjoyed if you did uh, like comment subscribe if you have any questions too you're gonna hear to answer them, so till next time. Bye.